Honours were fairly even at the end of the opening day of the LV County Championship match at Leicester, where Derbyshire were the visitors, and this is the best of the first day's action. Luke Sutton won the toss and batted first in the return fixture for these two, Derbyshire having already beaten Leicestershire by an innings earlier on this month. Wayne Madsen should have gone early, unable to keep a brute of a ball from Matthew Hoggard down, he was dropped at first slip by Jacques de Toy. However, Leicestershire didn't have to wait too long for their first wicket. Nadine Malik got a ball to nip back and find the inside edge of Wes Durston's bat. Tom New taking the catch. Durston went for 18 at 44 for one and then Malik produced another perler to Usman Kawaja. It was too good to find the edge. Leicestershire would have been disappointed that they didn't always put the ball in the right place on a pitch which was offering the bowlers some assistance if they did and that allowed Madsen and Kawaja to get away from them with a decent second wicket partnership. The Australian missed the corresponding fixture when his side won comfortably thanks in part to 100 from Madsen but he was ready to make up for that now. Lunch came with Derbyshire handily placed on 82 for one but Kawaja had a life after the resumption as Claude Henderson beat him, but with the batsman out of his ground, New missed the chance of a stumping. So it was left to the captain, Hoggard, to break the partnership of 55. A confident Kawaja went for a fierce cut shot, but edged the ball behind instead to depart for 35. Madsen scored 106 in his only other innings against this attack this summer, and he now added a 50 to that. This had been a patient one, made from 142 deliveries but it had been made in some testing circumstances and had Leicestershire taken all of their opportunities, the day may have been very different. Chesney Hughes was the next to be led off as Will Jefferson put down a simple chance. Henderson again the unlucky bowler. Hughes's response was to carve the bowler for a four. To his credit, Henderson did still keep plugging away and he deserved to see the back of Madsen, leg before to a ball which straightened for 58 at 141 for three. Henderson, who has made a terrific start to the season with bat and ball, was causing plenty of problems and he nearly removed Dan Redfern as well. Typically, it took one of his worst balls to get him his second wicket. Hughes cutting a short delivery into the hands of Wayne White to go for 35. The tall South African then bowled Greg Smith for four to leave Derbyshire on 174 for five. At this stage, Henderson would have been confident of a few more wickets in what was a very long and economical spell for him, but neither he nor Jigganake, bowling his off-spin at the other end, could find their way past Sutton and Redfern, who ended the run of wickets with some neat strokes as they tried to restore parity once more. The second new ball was taken, but that couldn't stop Redfern from completing his 50 from his 151st delivery. Leicestershire did miss another chance before the close, Jefferson putting down Sutton and not even Henderson who ended the day with figures of 3 for 69 from 33 overs could break the partnership which by the close had realised 64 runs. So the day ended with the hosts on 238 for 5 with Redford on 58 and Sutton on 21. Leicestershire will hope that they're not so generous in the field when play resumes.